Hello guys, this is Dean from Achilles Drill. This will be the first video of our series on some common embryology steeplechase questions. In this particular video, we're going to dive into events taking place in the first and second week of development, treat some models from this stage, and of course dwell on areas where steeplechase questions often present at you. Do stick with me to the end. One striking thing that happens in the first week of development is this sack we have right here and it starts with a sperm fertilizing a egg and then a zygote is formed and when a zygote is formed it undergoes a series of mitotic division all right a series of them through the process of cleavage and that give rise to numerous cells that are called blastomers okay so this sack kicks off in the first week of development and a lot of things are happening right here. Um, some particular set of structures, some set of cells will be um, will be formed. Uh, the molar will be formed. The blastocyst will be formed, and it will continue into the second week of development. All right. But I want you to know that in this phase of development, this first week, um, from the zygote undergoing cleavage to give rise to multiple cell bodies, and to forming the molar, to forming the blastocyst. We can have models from these structures. Models from these structures. Of course, it's related. When you're still putting this exam, there is no way they will get you a zygote and then they will put a zygote on the table and ask you to identify it. It's quite illogical, right? But they can mold structures relating to this. Now, let's look at our next slide. Take a look at this. For example, in this picture, this is a model of an embryology structure in the first week of development. Maybe you're even guessing what it is already. But I'm just trying to explain that no one will give you an actual zygote or an actual morula. Instead, they will mold it up, maybe with clay, maybe with paper, just something looking like it. Sometimes they might even print out the paper. They might print it on an A4 sheet and then they ask you to identify it. For example, what we're having right here, if I'm to ask you, what is this? And yeah, and this is how your steeple chase questions present. The options could be, what is the structure itself? What is the structure? That's one set of questions that can come out. Another thing could be, uh, what day is this structure formed? All right, and the questions actually differ from the models. For example, in this typical model, do you know what it is for a start? Well, let me give you an hint. This is the morula. All right, a morula is a ball of 8 to 16 cells. And an important question could also be, what day is it formed? And guys, this structure is actually formed on the third day of development. Another question could even be, what cell stage is it formed? And usually, it's between the 12th to 16th cell stage that the morula is formed. Okay, so let me go over that again. The first question, what is the structure? Simply, the morula. Another question could be, how many cells are making up this structure? Usually, about 8 to 16 cells. Another question could be, what day is it formed? It is usually formed on the third day of development. Another question could be, around what cell stage is it formed? And it's usually the 12th to 16th cell stage that the morula is formed. Okay, are we good with this model? And let's take a look at this um, circle again. There is a beautiful circle from the level of the zygote. The zygote undergoes a set of series of mitotic division from the four cell to 8 cell, to 16 cell, and around the 8 to 16 cell, we are having the morula, a mulberry, a collection of blastomers, a collection of cells, and eventually that morula will actually rearrange into something else called a blastocyst. Now, let's check a look at our next model. Uh, this picture is still explaining the same thing we've explained so far, from the 2 cell to 4 cell to 8 cell stage to morula, which is around the 12th to 16 stage, that's when the morula is formed. And then the blastocyst is the next thing in line. Now, take a look at this beautiful model we're having here. All right. Check this out. So, if I'm to ask you, what is this? Well, someone is confused. I don't even know what the heck this is. Let me get your orientation right. This is a model in the second week of development. And it is having this collection of cell bodies on the interior aspect. And then there is also a collection of cell bodies on the exterior aspect. It's actually a blastocyst. You are guessing right already. Okay, this is a blastocyst. In addition to it being the blastocyst, other questions can be asked. It's never that simple. It is never that direct. Anatomy department doesn't love you that much. Okay, so don't be in a haste to answer your questions. Instead, take it gradually. So, 
The question is, if the question is, what is the structure? Yeah, fine. This is a blastosis. The question, another question could be, what is the part labeled A? For example, right here in the inner cell body, it has a name. And right here on the external cell body too, it also has its own name. Okay, so be, don't be in a hurry to answer your question. Ensure you read your questions more than once. The question could not be, what is the structure? It could be, what is pinned on the structure? Or what is highlighted on that particular structure? For example, here is the blastocyst. But you do agree with me that this inner cell mass, it has a name, which is called the what? Embryoblast. Embryoblast. And then the outer cell mass is called what? Remind me. The trophoblast. Okay? The trophoblast. So some people will just go with inner cell mass, outer cell mass. But I prefer you being more anatomical and then say embryoblast, trophoblast. I think that makes more sense. Okay, so and you do agree with me, the embryoblast will give rise to the embryo proper, the trophoblast will give rise to the placenta and other extra embryonic structure already. In addition to that, one more important thing I'm probably leaving out, this space right here. Do you know what space this is? The space within the blastocyst. It's called the blastocyl. Blastocyl. Uh, or another name for it is simply the blastocyst cavity. Anyone you remember, I think I will actually go with blastocyst cavity. Because the structure itself is a blastocyst. So it's more relatable to say the cavity is the blastocyst cavity. Or if you want to be fanciful, just a blastocyst. Any of them work just fine. Are we good with this model? So this is another beautiful structure from the first week of development. And now let's check out what we have in our next model. Uh, okay. Oh, this is a textbook picture just emphasizing on what we just explained. The entire structure is what again? Remind me. A blastocyst. I want you to mention it as I'm mentioning them. And then what's this inner cell um, collection of cell bodies right here? The embryoblast. How about this collection of cell bodies on the exterior part? Remind me what they are. The trophoblast. And of course, this space right here is called what? The blastocyl or the blastocyst cavity. Are we good? So that's that regarding the um, blastocyst. Still the same blastocyst, just a different model. Let's get it right again. The embryoblast is what we have in the inner cell mass right here. And to the external part right here, what do we have? The trophoblast. Okay? And certainly the space within here is the blastocyst. Okay. This is still the same blastocyst, just a different model of it. And you, as you can see, a lot of emphasis is being laid on the space right here. And um, let's go over it again, of course. The embryoblast is this collection of cell bodies. And then on the exterior part is what? The trophoblast. And that place that was labeled a, a lot of emphasis is being laid on the blastocyst cavity. That's the part labeled A in this model. Are we good? So you can actually have your blastocyst in multiple places in your steeplechase. It doesn't have to be one question. You can move from maybe table one to table two, and they are still asking you questions on blastocyst. Just then, your first question it could be identify the embryoblast. The next one, they're asking you to identify the blastocyst cavity. Then the third table, they're asking you to identify the um, trophoblast. It could be anything. All right. So just take it in bits and ensure you are reading your questions more than once. And you do just fine. Okay. So now let's take a look at this other structure. We're now moving into the second week of development. And in the second week of development, here is one model that you just can't escape. And like always, the question could be, what is the structure? The entire structure itself, what exactly is it? Another question could be, they being specific on what part is labeled here, what part is pinned here, what part is painted here. So we're going to take this in bits. But does this picture even ring a bell at all? Well, if it doesn't, I will show you a textbook picture. Maybe this might just help a bit. And yeah. What we're having earlier is simply what we're also having here, just that this one is more fanciful, of course. Okay, that earlier picture is our bilaminar embryo. The entire structure is what, again? The bilaminar embryo. The embryo with two germinal layer. Okay, so, but it might not be that direct sometimes as expected. Certain structures here could be pinned. Let's start with this part in the middle for a start. Okay. That structure in the middle, you could be asked to identify it. What is the part labeled B? Let me just call it B for now. And even to ask you, what part is labeled B here? Well, as a matter of fact, that's the bilaminar disc proper. Bilaminar disc. That's the embryo. Everything, well, we'll still call everything the bilaminar embryo as a whole. 
but this structure right here the one making um consisting of the epiblast and the hypoblast they are collectively called the bilaminar disc okay so and um, let me show you a picture of this in our next slide again that collection of cell right here is called our bilaminar disc or some prefer to make it bilaminar embryonic disc okay but i want you to ensure you always include that disc okay and it consists of what and what again the epiblast and the hypoblast so sometimes the question could be the parts labeled b let me go back to that slide again the parts labeled b consist of what and what i'm labeling it b again the parts labeled b consists of what can you answer it echo it to me the epiblast and the hypoblast okay they are collectively forming the bilaminar disc so and yeah other questions can still present at you here for example this sac right here okay i think they even labeled it b here as you can see this region labeled b right there it could be you could be asked also let's call this one c this sac right here too you could be asked what are these different structures okay as a matter of fact the cavity even right here too questions can be asked uh, can be asked from you on it here as well the cavity there questions can be drawn at you from there so let's take a look at this textbook picture it will answer all our questions for example what we're having b earlier and what we're having c earlier is what i just labeled right now so the one labeled b is called the amniotic sac it is a sac but within it is a cavity called the amniotic sac cavity don't worry, we'll go back to that model again, so this will make sense. And the one we had as C earlier is simply the yolk sac. It is called the yolk sac. Why on the inside, the cavity it encloses is called what? The yolk sac cavity. Just imagine there's a sac now, or a nylon bag, something like that. There is a sac proper, and within the sac, there is a cavity within it. And that's exactly what we have right here. So, this sac is normally called the amniotic sac and it encloses a cavity called what the amniotic sac cavity same thing right here this sac right here is called what the yolk sac and it encloses a cavity called what a cavity called the yolk sac cavity are we good so is that direct so any of these structures can be pinned as you can see b is already pinned right here and the straight answer to that is amniotic sac if it is the cavity that is pinned we'll say amniotic sac cavity Alright, so I hope that clarifies this model. Well, we're leaving out some important things. How about this stock right here? Do you know what this stock is? Sometimes, you let's just call it D. That stock could be pinned and you'll be asked, what is it? That's actually the connecting stock. The connecting stock. Let me get you a better picture of that. And as a matter of fact, this cavity here as well, it, also, it is also very important, that large cavity. So, we will identify it in the next picture I want to show you now. Okay? Take a look at this in the second week of development what we were having earlier amniotic sac cavity being enclosed by the amniotic sac primary yolk sac cavity being enclosed by the primary yolk sac and then here is the connecting stock we had earlier okay the connecting stock is right there and this large cavity that was um labeling green earlier that large cavity is called the extra embryonic coelom and i want you to write that down the extra embryonic coelom. You can even take a pause and study this picture multiple times. This as well. Study it again and then come back to the model. Can we do a quick summary right now? As I'm pointing to them, tell me what it is. What is this? Bilaminar embryonic disc. Yeah, that's what this is. And then what is this area right here? Tell me what it is. The amniotic sac. And it is enclosing a cavity called what? Amniotic sac cavity. How about the one I'm about to label red? What is this? It is called the yolk sac. You're smart. How about what we have right here? It is called the yolk sac cavity. And then this stock again is the connecting stock. And finally, what do we have here? The extra embryonic coelom. The extra embryonic coelom. And the entire structure as a whole is called the bilamina embryo. That's what everything is called all together. Are we good? And we're actually coming to the end of this part on common stipulates questions associated with the first week of development. Here is the quick quiz again. B is simply what? The primary yolk sac. And the cavity right here, primary yolk sac cavity. And then A here is what? 
the bilamina embryonic disc. And that actually brings us to the end of this session on some common embryology stipuches questions associated with the first and second week of development. You may want to check out our next video on the third week of development. It's one you will definitely find helpful. Do well to subscribe and of course hit the like button. Thank you.